friends, it's Miss Nicole from the Tremont Library for Make It Monday for eight to 12 year olds. For September, we're doing Newton's Cradle and we're focusing on STEM. So right, you know STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And the scientist that we're showcasing today is Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton was born in 1642 and died in 1727. So if he was still alive today, he would be 293 years old, but he passed away at 82 years of age. What is interesting about Isaac Newton is Isaac Newton went through a similar situation like us. He had to go through a quarantine as well. He, however, did not wear a mask. He just went home. So he was in the city. There was a thing called the plague that was terrorizing or making a lot of people sick. So he went to the country, back to his family farm, and that, that year that he was in quarantine was his year of brilliant ideas. Some of these brilliant ideas that came from him were the laws of motion. The first law states that a body at rest will remain at rest and a body in motion will remain in motion unless it is acted upon by an external force. Here's a fun video demonstrating the law of phys or motion one. Law of motion two. The force acting on an object is equal to the mass of the object times its acceleration. So it's a formula. Law two, let's erase this, is, a, is F equals M times A. So force equals mass times acceleration. And here's a fun video demonstrating that formula. Law three. Law three of motion is for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. And this example of law three is what we're making today. This is Newton's cradle. And it shows law three for every action, there is an equal to reaction. In your kit, you have 14 popsicle sticks. Then you have five marbles with your string already attached to them, okay? So this kit takes time. If you want to speed up that time, you can use hot glue. If you don't have hot glue, no problem. All of this is made with regular glue. So first thing you need to do is get your glue and we're gonna start with four popsicle sticks. This is really easy. You're going to get your popsicle sticks, make a, not a wonky square, but a nice straight square. And if you need help, you can use a piece of paper or a ruler or just something to give you a nice straight box, okay? Then you're wanna, gonna wanna glue each spot. In your kit, I did um, place a piece of newspaper. So that way when your glue runs off, because it usually does whenever you use regular glue, it won't glue up your mom or grandma's or anybody's table. You can do it to your newspaper. Just slowly peel it off 
whenever it's time. Okay, here's my example of my first square done. Okay, and then you're going to repeat the process and do another square. You definitely wanna make sure that you it is somewhere where it can sit and take the time to glue because if you don't let the glue perfectly dry, it won't be as sturdy and it will fall apart. So make sure you give your glue lots of time to dry and somewhere where nobody's gonna bump it and make your square go wonky. So, okay. So now we have our four squares. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna want to get some water bottles, or some big books, because we have to start making our squares go upright. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wedge this one right there. And then get some more books. Okay, and you're gonna take a popsicle stick and you're gonna glue I glue on the one that's on the that's laying down. It's the easiest to move. And I thought I had another. Let me get I. Okay. This will help keep my squares upright. You want to make sure that everything's right before you add the glue that it's going to stay like this. Because if it's not, when you come back, it's not gonna keep the shape that you wanted it glued at. So that's the important thing. Taking the time to get this right. Okay, so now I would glue, lift up, put a big glue puddle, and then put it, set it right back down glue puddle, set it right back down. Okay, so here's one already glued of this step, okay? Then the next step, you're gonna still need these and you're going to need to glue it to where this is up and out here, okay? So the next step, this should be on the top. This one goes on the bottom. Okay, that's it. So then I would glue. And when it's all dry, I'd remove the weights, pull it out. And this is what it should look like. So you have your four squares and then you've glued two bottom pieces to it. Okay, the next step is to glue two at the top. You can do this by flipping it over and let gravity do its work and glue, glue, and place these. So have it glue like that. Rather than trying to have it glue and it's on the top, What's gonna happen is most of your glue is gonna drop down your popsicle sticks, and then most of the glue is gonna be down here and not in the connection that you need it to be most to make it strong and sturdy. So please put your popsicle sticks on the table. Make sure the sides and places are even. Then you're going to set that, let it dry, and then come back. It'll look like this. 
All right? Okay. Last step. To glue two more pieces so you're making a square on top. Okay. And glue those. Same thing as with as the other one. You're going to flip it over. Glue, glue, and place it here to dry. Remember, you're always gluing toward the table rather than up in the air. Because up in the air, gravity will take your glue down. We want it to stay right where we wanted to put it. All right. And the last step is you're just going to take your marbles and you're going to tape them on. And I'm just going to show you how to do that with one of these. Okay, so start in the middle and I'll show you with the first one here. You start in the middle and you just want to, I find it easy to just hold both sides of the string with tape on it to make sure it's level so it's straight on and if your marble needs to touch another marble it's touching and then you'll want to look at it on another plane which is this plane and make sure that they're all about the same height in order for your Newton's cradle to work I'm gonna keep one more piece of tape If you feel that they're um, not the right height, you can hold your tape and pull your string through here or just remove the tape and readjust it. And there's your Newton's Cradle. Have fun. Bye friends.